I'm Rhoda, welcome to my channel. Today's workout is an abs core and balance workout. We'll be using compound strength moves and low impact cardio moves to work that midsection. We'll be doing core, abs, or balance stabilizers on all of the exercises in this workout. We have 26 exercises to go through. So if that's a type of workout that appeals to you, that's gonna strengthen that core, work those abs, and keep you balanced long into your older years, please subscribe to my channel. There's never a cost to subscribe, and you help me keep your fitness free on YouTube. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's start our core warm up. Swing the arms, knees up, get that blood flowing. Go ahead and bring the knees up in front, twist it out, abs are tight, pull in that lower ab right here. Pull it in, pull it in, just like that. Take one arm out front, scoop it out. Abs tight here. Abs tight, pull tight. And we're going to go overhead, reach, really reach, round the arm, take it over the head if you can, warming up those obliques, clear your waistline. And let's hit those inner obliques with a skate, swing the arms way out. You'll feel right between the ab and the oblique here. Start with one of my medium weights. Most of these moves use just one dumbbell. If you don't have dumbbells, you have a couple cans of soup or a couple cans of water. That will work, and that's how I started. One to go. Grab one weight. All right, we're gonna hold the weight on either end. We're gonna swing through our knees, come up and twist. Ready? Go to your right first. Up, twist. Take the bend out. Put the knees. Can't handle the bend, okay? Hinge from the waist, flat back, bring it up, and twist. You can do a deep squat or somewhere in between. Let's do it. As you twist, squeeze the abs and squeeze the glutes. Those glutes are the lower end of your core. Have a nice rear side. It is always a bonus, right? Core right here, obliques and glutes, and rest. Good. Okay, you're gonna hold one weight in your right hand, stepping into a side lunge, or you're gonna do more of a hinge. So getting that inner thigh, we come up and we pulse. Three, two, one. Here we go. Take it over to your left, over, up. Three, two, one. A little bend, bring it up. Those obliques. Find where this side lunge works for you. Sometimes with my clients, squats or stationary lunges or rear lunges are, are possible, but you might find this lateral work just by the nature of the way the weight is distributed in your body. Might be a little easier on your knees. Of course, if it hurts, don't do it ever. Find where it doesn't, and you can get the motions. Good. All right, what happens on one side, happens on the other. Kind of like Vegas, right? <laughs> Ready? Then we go to the other side. Remember your modifications. I will always give you modifications in my videos. So if you have any issues, because I know. Ready? Here we go. Something that a lot of us deal with. Three, two, one. As we age, even if you're not getting a deep bend here, a little bit right there. You're working those muscles, strengthening them. Potentially over time, you might be able to get a little bit deeper in your lunge as those muscles strengthen around the joint. And the joint issues, unfortunately, keeps us from moving, which perpetuates the joint problems. We need to move, but you need to move safely. Over and up. One more, come on. Why not? Obliques are fun to work. 
Good. Stand with my one weight. This is a discus, it's fun. We're gonna take this weight, we're gonna twist. You're gonna feel that inner oblique right there. Bring it up, stop the weight, crunch over your knee. So it's fast, up and crunch. Ready, here we go. Twist, bring it up, crunch. Now, don't rush this, get your twist. Stop the weight, then do your crunch. As you come up right here, squeeze the glute. Bonus, ready? It is kind of core. A little bit of balance involved here. Right here, balance. Your midsection should start to feel nice and warm. I just realized I forgot to start my watch. I do this all the time. I'm gonna do it. Nice one, all right. Get it going. Better late than never. Go on the other side. Just want to see the heart rate. Okay, ready? Take it to the other side. Discus. Lower. Bring it up. Crunch. Make these moves, combination compound strength, upper and lower body, going at the same time. It really becomes a low impact cardio move, too. Some are more cardio based than others in this workout. But we all have an element of strength and heart rate up because we're working upper and lower body in the same movement. A lot of lower abs so far, going on to a halo. I want you to follow along with me, don't overthink this. You wanna go one direction and then the other. You're gonna take the weight, twist from the waist up and around, and then you go back the way you came. I wanna see your hips move, okay? Abs tight, here we go. Up and around, and down, back the way you came. The more movement you can get in this core, the better. Again, a little bit of a balance, even though both our feet are on the floor. This weight over our head is throwing our body weight off. Up and around. Knees are loose. Don't lock your knees here. And the focus, especially working abs, keep breathing. So focused in. Hold our breath. And we have tight muscles around our body. You want to do a body check. Make sure you're pretty loose in the legs and the arms. Really focusing on this twist in the core. Good job. All right, this is our first true balancing element here. I'm gonna grab my other weight. We're gonna have one toe back. You're gonna hinge forward with the leg up if you can. Do a fly. And the other side. Ready? Here we go. Abs tight. Lift. And lift. Or tap back. Tap back. Abs are tight here. Weight's coming out to the side. Squeezing the mid-back, shoulders are relaxed, arms are slightly bent. This is a tough lift. Use a medium weight. You are going to be good with this because we have a little pause, a little rest right here. Then we go again. 10 more seconds coming up right about now. Stay with me. Come on. Ooh, <laughs> I felt my stable as light as kicking there. And rest, good. Okay, back to one leg. Deep breath, how's your heart rate? It's 130, right in my low end cardio range, burning fat, what I want. Weight is here, abs tight, round the back, knee in, standing crunch, round. As you round, pull the belly button to the spine. Crunch it. Abs tight. One. You want to work that belly button and lower ab area. I know it. I hear it all the time <laughs> from myself, too. At the same time, I want you to be kind to yourself. I tell my clients that. Especially, you know, women who have children are not going to be that 16 year old flat stomach ever. And that's okay because our bodies do amazing things. 
and rest. Good. All right. One weight, suitcase swing. Now you can either squat here, swing in the weight back and up. It's a swing, not a lift. All right. Watch your knees or you hinge down and up. You're going to work this oblique on this side. Here we go. Swing it down. Watch the knees. Abs tight. Think about the weight and the heel of the foot on the side that the weight is swinging. So your right side. Remember to modify with a hinge versus a bend in the knee. A little bend here, but not impacting weight onto the joint there. You need to protect those knees. And you're gonna feel the right side of your body, the right side of your core, really working. And I'm swinging the weight, I'm not lifting, I'm letting it swing. Going to make the stabilizers work with balancing muscles versus you know your arm lift lower so by just swinging it these muscles get recruited to help all right other side watch the knees don't have the feet so far apart that you're going to hit that knee ready here we go swing it now it's tight weight in the heel of the standing leg on the side your left side it's swinging drive through the heel whether you're squatting or hinging forward on the way up, hips forward, squeeze. Stay with me. If you need a break, I should say. And I know this moves quickly. You need a longer rest. Stop with you know 10 seconds left in the round. It's going to increase your rest from 15 seconds to 25. A little more recovery time. If you're just starting out, perfectly fine. Before you know it, you're going to be getting through the entire 45 seconds. All right, skating with the weight. Let's step to your right. I want you to swing it big. That's going to get those obliques. Bring the toe bend back and back. Tap, tap. Make it big. You can do this without weight. But if you're just starting out and you have water bottles or soup cans, just use one, it should be fine. And that's gonna help really bring it into your ab, just controlling that resistance out in front of you. Similar to that halo, you're going to hold the weight on the end. We're bringing it all the way around this time though. Sledgehammer down, up and around. So we're going a little deeper. Ready? Up and around to your right. Hinge forward, slam it. Up and around, and slam. A little bend in the knees there, but it's more of a hinge from the waist. When you come up, big rotation in the hips, and down. Feel this. Upper core, lower core, all working together. Here. And 
Good. All right. Go to the other side. Whew. Breathing hard. Here we go. Take it down. 133. Don't my 130s. You know I'm burning the most fat. 220 minus my age. 0.65 and 0.85. I'm just doing the lower part of that range, lower half. I'm burning about 75% of my calories. 70 to 75% from fat. If it gets with jumping up and down, really impacting joints, which we don't want to do, and get our heart rate higher. But what happens when you do that? You're actually burning less fat calories percentage wise. So it might burn more calories overall. And really no more fat calories than doing a safe workout. Yeah. All right, gonna hold the weight here. Toes and knees are out. I'm gonna do a white squat or activate, come up, lean, and up. So oblique lean from the white squat. Go deep or go very little. You pick the, pick the level. So it's down and up, lean and up. Activate, up, lean, like that. Pick which one works for you. Or maybe you go about halfway down. That feels good. Remember, weight in the heels. It's going to keep it out of your knee. I'm going to do something similar to this at the end. Actually, kind of warming up for that. Okay, Whew. let's move into the lower obliques. We're getting a little glute here too. Now hold the weight here as we push the weight up. Side leg lift, other side. And we're gonna feel the waistline crunch from the lower body. We just crunch from the top, now from the lower. Hold those abs tight. Pull your belly button to the spine. Here comes the sun. I. Uh, have to wait till the sun comes up and gets in the sky in the summertime to do my videos because of this. It's raining when we started. Well, it's not raining anymore, so I apologize for any shadows that are gonna to start to come on me here. Let's just enjoy the sunshine. And I just realized I don't have my chair. I know I put a little comment in the introduction to grab a chair. So I'm gonna use my fireplace mantle. You can put your hand on your chair or couch or coffee table. We're gonna hold ourselves with one hand, other side, leg and arm, same side. We're gonna crunch them down, kick them out. Abs are tight here, keep those hips nice and square. So don't lift the hips. Ooh, get my balance, here we go. It's a balance workout. That little bottle I had, that's my stabilizers. Jumping in to keep me from falling. So that's a good job to <laughs> remember my stabilizers right there. As we're taking a standing leg, a little tiny bend in that standing leg, and again, weight in your heel to keep it out of your knee, okay? Pull the abs tight, full extension. Rest if you need to, this is a tough move, I get that. I'm just uh, coming near the end of this workout. Feel it? Standing leg two, right? Let's go to the other side. And that little bend is super important and the weight in that heel. It's gonna keep you safe on your standing leg. Get ready to crunch. Here you go. Crunch it, reach. Abs tight, hips square. So you don't, as we get tired, lift that hip. You wanna keep that hip right there. Feel those abs, feel that core. Glutes, balance, it is all happening right here. I thought, oh, clouds, rain, awesome. I can start early filming while well, the rest of the house is asleep. 
good plan. Don't mind the sunshine, it's a Sunday morning here. All right, we're going to a curtsy lunge or a touch back. So either way back, come up with a kick, whoop, there it is, <laughs> or touch it back up and kick. Ready? Get your balance, right leg back. Curtsy, come up, plant the foot and kick, or after you do a couple, if you can get that balance, right there. Ready in that front heel, tap it back, kick, tap it back, kick. Get low if you can. Find which one works for you. This is a tough one. Lead in that front heel. Good. Keep going, come on. Give me a glute. I sure do. <laughs> Last one, come on, finish with me. I'm gonna finish it. Lost my balance here a little bit. That's the name of the game though. Let's work out. Other side, you ready or not? Cause we're going in three seconds. Deep breath in. Here it is, take it back. Curtsy or tap. Find your balance and then kick. Maybe the first couple you need to put your foot down or maybe for the whole section you need to put your foot down. One side's gonna be easier than the other. This is my more challenging side, maybe you can tell. Focus on balance. Slow it down if you need to. Plant the foot and then kick. You're just starting out. Oh boy, there's Jake. Why is he up? <laughs> maybe he saw the sun. Come on. Stay with me. Whew. All right. Going back to one weight. Got a couple options for you here. Weights in your right hand. We're going to step or lunge, side lunge. As you come up, pull the weight up. And we're going to push and kick. Balance. Ready? Over, knee in, kick it. Or over, tap your foot, and kick. Take the deep bend out if you need to. So gonna get that balance. Over, in, and kick. You wanna be moving this upper and lower body at the same time. It's gonna get our heart rate up. Incorporates more core too. And it's hard, look at me. I know it's hard. Tap it down there, because I felt my balance wobbling. The stabilizers are getting trained. And that's what we want. All right. Meet in your left hand, ready to go to the other side. Whew. Here it comes. How's your heart rate? Puffin and puffin, 138. Perfect. Now if your heart rate's different than mine, come over, bring it in, and kick. If it's higher, just starting out, it likely is higher. Because as we train our muscles and our heart, most important muscle, right? <laughs> we need it. It gets more efficient. So one pump pushes more oxygenated blood out to the muscles. So the heart doesn't have to pump quite as often. So that's what you're doing. You're strengthening that heart. So as you continue, to work out, it gets stronger and stronger. So one pump, boom, is more efficient, and that's what we want. All right. Whew, figure out where I'm at. Bringing the weight up. We have a tricep extension, fun stuff. Leg raise, ready? Lift. Sorry, I had to catch my breath there. All right. Slight bend in those knees, don't walk them. Balance. In a lower ab crunch, oblique, bonus, back of the arms, line up. Relax your neck, I say that because I'm a little stiff, keep it loose. Breathing, don't hold your breath. Balance work, that's just one over breath. Go back to your arms too. A little burn, right? And rest. 
I am putting the weight down to this. This is the one I mentioned when we were doing the last wide squat series. Again, a little activation or go deep. While we're in that squat, hands behind your head, we're down, lean, in and up. Here we go. Down, lean, bring it in and up. Or activate, lean, in, up. Activate, lean, drive it up. Go where you can here. Weights in your heels. Say it over and over. I'm reminding myself too. quicker. 
from that high that you were at. So I'm going to measure cardio conditioning. So if you're just starting out and thinking, oh my gosh, I was dying, I want you to stick with me, okay? Because I want for you to have the best, healthiest life that you can. And to do that, we've got to exercise. Bring one arm across, drop the shoulder. You've got to move your body. You want it to keep moving for you, right? Into old age. So we've got to keep it moving now. You know, 70 is not the time. 80 is not the time necessarily to decide it's time to start and work in the body. Cross your hands behind your back and around your shoulders. Now, if that is you and you're here, I'm proud of you for that. If you're somewhere between 40 and 70 or 80, and you've decided to take care of you, that's fantastic. Switch out your neck. Let's go to the other side. Did you like the video? Leave me comments. Deep breath in. Exhale, give it a thumbs up. If you want to do it again, that'll put it in your YouTube library. One more time. If you subscribe to the channel, when you open your YouTube page, the latest video will be there, so you'll see what just came out on my channel. So I invite you to subscribe. There's never a cost to subscribe, and you're helping me build this channel and community, which means more and more workouts for us. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time.